Okay, John Scott here for Wrestle Line um, and Turnbuckle TV with none other than Dean Ormark, and we just see you out there. Uh, great victory for you. How was that match against uh, Nathan Cruz? Uh, it was a uh, tough match. Um, I'll be honest, I've been wrestling Nathan Cruz like on and off for the last 10 years, and every time we go in there, it's just an absolute war. So, uh, so yeah, he's uh, he's one of the upcoming stars, you know what I mean? He's still like a young veteran, but like, to me, he's still like a young dude. So. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you was going like your pace and everything is very fast, but also uh, very methodical. Uh, mm -hmm. And what I liked about it was a lot of logic during the match, which mm -hmm. I appreciate just as a bit of an old school fan, just a preference in my own. Mm -hmm. um, what is the feel like for All Star compared to maybe some of the other promotions that you've worked in? What what stands out differently with an All Star show? Just, I've wrestled all over the world, like I've been to Japan, I've wrestled in America, obviously I've wrestled on the indie scene in the UK, but unless you've actually been to like an all-star show, like in a the theatre, like there's just no atmosphere, like it's like, it's a family show, um, but the atmosphere is really unique, uh, you won't find this anywhere else in the UK. Yeah, I've got a second that, because I haven't been to an all-star show for like about four years, and coming in where I've been around a lot of other promotions, I've got to say it does have its own uniqueness, but it's kind of like um, it's a bit magical, if that sounds, without sounding a bit too out there, but it's yeah. kind of something special about it, just the way the layout is, and obviously here it's just one side with a crowd, uh, which I think makes all the difference. Um, talking about like your past and all your opponents, um, I was asking everybody this, getting into wrestling, who was your sort of like people that you were sort of inspired by? Because I know when you grow up as a fan, you appreciate things differently than when you start training as a wrestler, you see things differently in the ring. Mm -hmm. uh, who were some of those people for you? Well, obviously, uh, growing up, like the first wrestling there was a show about my granddad was like the WWF, right. uh, around about like the 1990 mm -hmm. period. Um, so obviously, um, the first one that stands out was Mr. Perfect. I don't know oh, what yeah. it was, even though he was the bad guy. Mm -hmm. I really liked him. Uh, and then going on, like to, so growing up as like a teen, uh, I used to go to tape traders and, and get tapes, right, VHS yeah. tapes, they are, <laughs> they are, but uh, yeah, I used to go to tape traders, spend like a hundred quid, like the tapes yeah, like a fiver yeah. each, and uh, Big I, used, back then. I used to get like wrestling from all over the world, like mm -hmm. Japanese wrestling, Mexican wrestling, and I was really a big fan of like the, the New Japan Juniors, mm -hmm. uh, Jusin from the Liger, yeah. always stood out as like one of my favourites, and uh, in 2013 I actually got to wrestle yeah. Liger, yeah, uh, so that was... Uh, a big honour for me, uh, and that led to me going to Japan like the year after. So, uh, so yeah, it was, uh, it was trippy, yeah. a trippy trip, you know. <laughs> and uh, obviously, you're you're around the UK scene quite a bit now. What is your take on the British wrestling scene? Because um, when I ask some people this, some some wrestlers are a little bit like, well, the whole Brit Rest Fest is, is finishing, it's ending, it's doom and gloom because of NXT UK. Mm -hmm. But some other people say no, it's still in the boom period. It's just a due to social media we're just kind of getting all this back sort of negative stuff with it and the vibe but, but for someone obviously in the trenches you work it all the time you've been around locker rooms what is the vibe from your perception uh first of all as a performer mm -hmm. uh, i've been doing this 20 years in january wow. Wow. and uh like it seems to be a boom for me because i seem busier than i've ever been mm -hmm. uh ever um, there is a lot of wrestling out there. Obviously, social media. You scroll and you see wrestling clips. Yeah, yeah. It might put people off, like watching like whole shows because mm -hmm. they, they're like, oh, "I've seen this clip and I need to watch an entire show." Yeah, yeah. Um, but for me, I think it's a boom period. Mm -hmm. um, most shows that I go to now, the quality of the wrestlers on the shows are like top notch. Like I go to a show and I come out thinking, "Wow, that was a really good match." Mm -hmm. Whereas like maybe 15 years ago, it was tougher to find like really good pros to, to, to actually wrestle with. So, uh, but the NXT UK, I think it's good for the UK scene on the mm -hmm. whole. Um, obviously WWE doing their on-demand thing, it was like, it brings back the dads showing their kids the cool stuff that yeah, we yeah. used to watch, like I do it myself mm -hmm. and my kids. Um, so yeah, I think wrestling's a thing that's passed down in generations. Mm -hmm. I think it always will be, but yeah, I think it's definitely booming right now. Cool, and yourself, like, I mean, you said you've been in the business now for 20 years, quite a feat to still be going and, and carrying on. What, what, what are your goals? Do you do them like just every year or do you just take it as it comes at this stage? Uh, what is your ultimate goals at the minute to get to or, or do you just set small ones? 
Uh, so, so for me personally, it's um, as I'm getting older. Mm -hmm. I started training when I was 15. Yep. Uh, had my debut when I was 16. So at this stage, it's about keeping healthy, mm -hmm. um, trying to keep up with like the younger guys like Nathan Cruz mm -hmm. and the younger guys that you'll see like tonight, you know, uh, and just stay injury free. Uh, this is my full time job, so like it's about just going in there and and keeping keeping going, really, you know. Um, so like, there's no real goal. It's literally just doing what I've been doing for the last 20 years but like ever improving you know every match I have I want to learn from and just continue to evolve you know uh, I'm not going to be one of the wrestlers that's going to be the same me yeah, yeah, in 10 yeah. years you know I'm, I'm going to be totally different as I was 10 years ago so excellent well thank you very much where can we catch you for those people that want to uh, follow you on social media okay social media is uh, Instagram Twitter I uh, uh, I've got a Facebook a down below, so yeah yeah a Facebook that. fan page um, all Dean Allmark there's a very many Dean Allmarks in the world so uh, <laughs> should be much trouble yeah, the half naked guy <laughs> thank you very much okay. and great win thank you nice to meet you man cheers thank mate. you thank cheers. You.